Okay, welcome to Bayside News. Yes, we are back with our first episode of the school year. This year, Bayside News might look a little different, but don't worry, some of your favorite segments will still be around, including the super popular Bayside Food Review. You'll see some segments every week, while others will show up here and there. We are going to do our best to have a new episode every week, but that might not always happen based on schedules. Either way, we're excited to share all the cool stuff happening at school. All of our students are getting a chance to experience our new partnership with the Schlitz Audubon Center this year. This fall, every grade level will have a field trip with our friends from the Audubon Center. Eighth grade learned about the Milwaukee River and habitats along the way while canoeing over five miles a couple of weeks ago. Seventh grade recently went hiking in the Northern Kel Moraine State Forest. The fifth and sixth graders have their field trips coming up and we'll be sharing about what they do in future episodes. Okay. We have a super cool announcement for you. Award-winning author Jason Reynolds is coming to Bayside on November 3rd to speak to our school. He's the national ambassador for young people's literature and author of a ton of books we have in our library, like Ghost, Stunt Boy, Long Way Down, and All American Boys. Every student is gonna get one of his books, and you'll even have the opportunity to order the other books at a discount price. More information about the event and the book order form will be available on Friday, October 14th. We're going to share grade level updates in different ways this year. Rather than hear about what's going on in the classrooms from us, you're gonna hear from the students themselves. Take a look. Hi, my name is Owen. I'm in ELA. We have started book clubs. I'm currently reading the Harlem Charade and loving the mystery and fun in characters. The best part about book clubs is being able to talk about my favorite parts with the people in my group. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm in fifth grade social studies. We've been learning about geography, maps, latitude and longitude, and land features. Uh, we, use, we used all we learned to make our own island that told more about us. We had to find its latitude and longitude lines, identify its climate, and include lots of landforms and water features. In sixth grade math, we just finished our test about least common multiple and greatest common factor. In ELA, we're, we just finished our giver book and your AR book should be done by October 7th, Friday, which is today. Um, and for social studies, we're learning about Mesopotamia and the four biggest in empires of Mesopotamia. In seventh grade art, we are currently working on paper mache animals, and I made this hybrid with a crab, a frog, and a bird. Uh, in gym, we are playing soccer and pickleball. Uh, between the two, soccer is definitely my favorite. Yeah. In ELA, we are doing historical fiction books, and I'm currently reading about Ground Zero. It's about 9-11. Uh, and in science, we are working on heat transfer, and we're doing a lab about how um, the amount of thermal en energy affects how much kinetic energy, affects the kinetic energy of water in water. Members of the John Michael Kohler Arts Center have been in eighth, Mr. Blanc's 8th grade social studies class to teach the students about Fox Point artist Mary Knoll. The students created a Mary Knoll inspired project carving cuttlefish bones and then pouring pewter to create a sculpture. In science, we are starting our mass and motion lab and studying Newton's three laws. We will be testing how the mass of a marble affects the collision force. Math classes are problem solving through many different challenges from solving equations to recognizing patterns. It is also super important, super important to be able to solve for a given variable in an equation. Spanish started the year off with review of what the students learned last year. I think everyone can agree that daily review is very important. Currently, we are learning more clothing vocabulary in order to talk about what we would wear during different seasons. We also discuss shops and department stores in our area. The jokes are awesome. Well, some are better than others, but everyone loves to laugh. Cam has a few jokes he recently shared with some students and staff. Take a look. Why did the golfer need new socks? For people, I don't know. There was a hole in one. Ah. What did one math book say to the other? I don't know what. I've got so many problems. 
What's an astronaut's favorite part of a computer? I don't know. The space bar. Well, it seems like fall is just beginning. Our fall sports teams are wrapping up their seasons. In our next episode, we will give you an update on how the teams did on the field. We do have a segment we are going to do with some of our teams, and it's going to involve interviews with one of the athletes. Here's the first one. So this is a new segment, and it's, we're going to ask questions to Milo here about the soccer season for Bayside. So first, how is the Bayside team doing this year? Uh, we lost, I think, two games, and then we won one. And I think we've only had three so far, so. Okay. Okay, okay. nice. Um, what is your, what position do you play? I play center. Okay. What, what is your favorite pre-game snack? I don't, I, I don't usually have a pre-game snack. Okay, great answer. Yeah. How long have you been playing soccer? Do you play for any other teams besides Bayside? I play for an MKS team. Are they good? Yeah. Nice. Ah. Do, you, do, you, do you want to play um, soccer once you get to high school? I'm planning on trying to get on JV varsity. Nice. Um, what is the best coaching advice you have ever received? Soccer player. Anyone? No. Okay. Soccer. And that is it. We are at the final. We're at the other goal. Thanks for watching Goal to Goal. See you next time. Here are some important dates for you to keep in mind. October 11th is the conference meet for our cross country runners. It's also National Spread Joy Day. October 12th is National Stop Bullying Day. October 13th is School Picture Day and the last soccer game of the season for our soccer team where they will travel to USM. Good luck! October 14th is National Dessert Day. Have your favorite dessert. Saturday, October 15th is National Cheese Curd Day. Yum! We think that Bayside has students with a lot of talent, so we figured it would be a great idea to use Bayside News to share those special skills. In future episodes, we're going to have a segment called Bayside's Got Talent, where we are going to share videos of our students and maybe even teachers performing their special talent. We need your help with this because we don't know the special talents and skills everyone has. In the Guidance Google Classroom for your grade level, you'll find a Google form that you, will, that you can fill out to share your information with us. Part of what you need to do is send us a video of you showing your talent. We might use that actual video in an episode or talk to you about showing off your skills here at school. If you have any questions, see Mr. Lehman. Are you smarter than a teacher? We ran some trivia questions by Mr. Blonick to see what he knew. Then we asked students those same questions. Who is smarter? Let's find out. Hello, welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Teacher? I'm going to ask Mr. Blonick some questions and some kids are going to try to get more right. Oh, okay. So the first question, where does the largest U.S. state buy land mass? Um, Texas. Um, how many bones do sharks have? None, because they have cartilage. Um, how does... I didn't think I would know that. How does a knight move on a chessboard? Um, up three over one. Makes like an L. Yeah. Or it can go backwards. And what is the capital of Canada? Uh, Quebec. Okay. What is the largest U.S. state by land mass? Um, Texas. How many bones do you think a shark has? <laughs> um, 200. How does a, the knight move in chess? L-shaped. What is the capital of Canada? Toronto. And these are the answers for this week's Beat the Teacher. And so for the capital of Canada, it's actually Ottawa. And for the largest U.S. state, most of you said Texas, but it's actually Alaska. And for how the knight moves in chess, well, it moves in an L-shape. 
And for how many bo bones a shark has? It's actually a trick question. There's zero. It's time for one of the most popular segments in the history of Bayside News. Yep, it's Food Review. Here's Harper and Lucia sharing their thoughts on a variety of crumble cookies. Hi, I'm Harper. And I'm Lucia. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the first Bayside Food Review of the Year. Yeah! Woo! Uh, today we're reviewing crumble cookies, and the flavors are... Go. Pumpkin roll, caramel apple, milk chocolate chip, blue mint, classic pink sugar. The first one we're going to do is pumpkin, the pumpkin roll. Let's bite into it. Mmm. <laughs> this is really good. It's very, like, sugary because mm -hmm. all this sugar right here. But it's, like, a good amount because there's also... This is really fluffy, the yeah. actual cookie part. And it's really good at tasting, like... It reminds me of kind of a pumpkin bread roll in a cookie. Yeah. And, like, the, like, frosting, I'm pretty sure it's cream cheese frosting. Um, I usually don't like cream cheese frosting, but it's, like, really good cream cheese frosting. Our next cookie we'll be trying is caramel apple. Okay. It has actual apples on it. That's really good. Yeah. The cookie is like really chewy. Um and the apple is really sweet. And then like the caramel, it like tastes like you actually like dip the apple in caramel. So it's really good. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I liked how it was actual apples. And like I think the frosting was caramel flavored with the with like a little bit of caramel drizzle. So I like that combo. Because I think caramel's good. Yeah. So we're not going to review the chocolate chip or the pink sugar cookie because those are just really classic cookie flavors and everyone loves those, but we will review this one. So this is the blue mint one and it kind of looks like it has Oreos or chocolate chips in it and I'm excited to try it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's very much of like a sweet mint flavor and I can taste the chocolate with it so it kind of reminds me of like mint flavored ice cream on a cookie which I love. Mm -hmm. um, the frosting is really good. It kind of reminds me of like ice cream and then like the cookie is like some sort of like crunchy-ish elements to it so it's mm -hmm. not all of the like really good frosting. Yeah, I agree. They, they were all really good, but I think maybe my order is the blue mint, um, the caramel apple, and then the pumpkin swirl thing. Well, they all were actually really good, but I think that mine was blue mint, and then the pumpkin one, and then the caramel apple one. So. Thank, Thank you for watching Bayside Food Reviews. See you next time. That's it for our first episode of Bayside News for the school year. This one was more of an introduction of what we are going to do this year, but we also had some great stuff to share. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll be back soon with another episode. Have a great week, Bayside! We still have some of your favorite segments, like Bayside, oh wait, I messed that up. I missed like a whole line. Okay. I'm like kind of blind, so I'm just kind of guessing. What, don't you have glasses? I have contacts. Uh, they're not working very good then, are they? No. I I'm still be around. I'm sorry, I'm just screwing this up. It's okay, we got this. Thought you were the master, Shelva. I am, I am the master. I'm cracking under pressure. <laughs> okay, welcome to Bayside. Oh, are you going? Yep. Okay.
we have a super cool announcement for you. Award-winning author Jason Reynolds is coming to Bayside on November 3rd to speak to our school. Are you okay? Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Gather yourself. Start Without again. This. Start again. We have a super cool. <laughs> we got to make sure we get this done before okay. lunch is over. We have a super cool announcement. Right. Start again. We got it. You. Can't